Let's take a second and check out some of my favorite grooves by Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl. Pronounce names.com. Dave Grohl. Uh, he's just an icon in the rock community and to me one of the um, best rock drummers that has that has ever come along. He's he's um, very clear with his writing. He's very clear with his parts. His timing is impeccable. Um, he's just he's just like a force to be reckoned with. And with as many projects as he's played on, as many uh, chart topping bands as he's been in, like it's obvious the guy has something. So it's good to pay attention to that and dive into his playing. So let's dive into some drum beats and figure out what kind of makes him tick. Now I'm starting with one of the most obvious, but you have to because it's such a signature uh, growl groove, and it's gonna be Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit. That's at about 118 BPM. And the groove for that is very signature to Dave Grawl because he plays um, something that he does on a lot of his grooves, and he plays quarter notes here, and it's actually a pretty challenging groove if you've never played it. He plays quarter notes here on the hi-hat while the groove is going on. So let's go ahead and check out what this groove is. Quarter notes on the hi-hat, so one, two, three, four, uh, and then we're gonna have one E and a uh in the kick drum, two E and a uh on the snare drum. So, then on beat three, we have a paradiddle between the kick and the snare. It's gonna go a hi-hat with the kick, and it's gonna go kick, snare, kick, kick, three E and a. Uh. That's really hard to get all of that stuff going on underneath there without playing the inner beats on the hi-hat, the ands. Now the last hit we have is obviously beat four on the back beat and then and on the kick drum. So If you want the sheet music for this, be sure visit the pinned comment or the video description. The sheet music is there available for you. Download that if you need it uh, to play along with this stuff and see what's actually going on. Now let's check out number two. Number two is gonna be from the song Drain You and it's gonna be the verse groove. Again, this is another Nirvana song. Uh, it's gonna be 134 BPM, but the reason I picked this one was because it shows use of A, his quarter notes on the hi-hat and B, two snare hits in a row. He That's another signature growl lick. Now between the kick and the and the snare drum, it's gonna go one and two and three and four and, and then start over, one and two and three and four and. Pretty simple, but it has some real signature uh, Dave licks in there. And we have quarter notes on the hi-hat, so one, Number three comes from another group that he was in, Queens of the Stone Age, and this is Song for the Dead. This is going to be the groove right about 40 seconds in the song, and this, the reason I picked this, that song, we've already picked apart a uh, uh, fill from that song, the intro fill, and um, you can go check out that in another video. I'll try to pin that below this one. And then um, this is 214 BPM. What this does is it throws back to his punk rock roots, okay? Dave uh, Grohl was, came out of the punk scene, as well as, uh, for the most part, a lot of the guys in Nirvana came out of that punk scene. And so um, he's playing here on the hi-hat and it's a it's a pretty simple pattern it's just the speed he's going it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four e and a on the on the ride symbol guess what 
quarter notes, not eighth notes, quarter notes. And then he crashes on two of that first measure. It's a two bar loop. The next two are from projects that you may not have known that Dave Grohl played on. Uh, the, the next one you may have known, the last one, I seriously doubt many of you knew if he played on that one or have heard it. Now, this is gonna be from um, T T Tenacious D with Jack Black. Uh, he played on those albums. And this song comes from, which is a hilarious song, it's called The Metal. And this is a really quick tom groove that he does, just a real iconic, you know, Dave style tom groove, just smashing the toms. Um, and that's gonna be at the 50, let me make sure I'm making that wrong, 52 second mark. It's gonna be at 114 BPM. So the speed's not super up there, but what he's doing with his kick drum, of course, always is on these patterns. So it's gonna go on the first tom, he's gonna have two 30 second notes, and he's gonna follow that by 16th notes for the rest of the pattern. So it's gonna go one, E, and, a. Uh. Two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a, uh, right? The second measure is exactly the same, except on four, it goes four E, and then another signature uh, Dave Grohl lick is his flam. He uses flams in a ton of stuff. So it's gonna go four E and. And this last one, you may have never heard of the artist, you may have never heard of the song or known that he even played on it, but it's some of his best playing on this album. I, I dig the whole thing, and this song in particular. It's in 6-4, and it's a four-bar loop for this, uh, for this almost the entire song, uh, but for this particular groove. And the, the artist is called um, Killing Joke, and then the name of this song is Implant. Uh, and it's gonna be at the 21-second mark whenever this groove starts, and it's just relentless the entire uh, time. And it's not that it's so hard, hard it's the tempo this is at 278 bpm so it's in six four it's going to be quarter notes here on the hi-hat so one two three four five six and the basic groove is going to go one two and three and four five six Now remember we said it's a four bar loop. So if bar one is like that, bar two is exactly like that except on six, it opens the hi-hat on six. Bar three repeats that, but we have a double on the first uh, beat. So we have two eighth notes uh, on the first beat instead of just one. And then measure four looks just like measure two. 